This is the opening screen for Audacity, a free open source audio editing program. I'm not sure if I know of one that's better, at least not for free. It runs on Macs, PCs, and you can even install this on Chromebooks, the Linux version that is, which is very easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop my MP3 or music file in place. And what you see is the waveform here for the entire song, which is about a, well, it looks like it's almost two minutes long. So I only want the beginning. So I stop it right there and, you know, I get an idea of about where it is. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And I'm guessing that's about the spot, right? Actually, I think it's about right there. Uh, what I want. So uh, let's listen again. Okay, so I pause the playhead and that gives me a pretty good idea of about where I want to stop. Now that's an awfully large chunk of music that I want to delete. Everything to the right. So I'm going to zoom back out. Let's leave the playhead about where that is. And then I'm going to grab the select tool right here and just kind of eyeball it grab all of that click on the little scissors and i've now trimmed it down to about six seven seconds let's zoom back in so we can see better what we're doing and i kind of got that part right there that i don't want so again i'm just going to grab the select tool drag to select it and trim that away so we'll rewind we'll play <laughs> Now, that's exactly what I wanted, but one of the things that Canva lacks is the ability to be able to fade in and fade out. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and have select the end part here, about a second's worth. And I want that to fade out, so all I have to do is come up under Effects and choose Fade Out. Watch what happens to the waveform. See, it narrows down. Same thing here in the beginning. I'm going to have it fade in and it kind of smushes the waveform down. So let's rewind and listen. Fades in and then it's going to fade out. So that's just some of the basic effects that you can do. There are all kinds of things that you can do here under the effects. And for the work I do in Canva, these are the tools that I use more often. Now, how do I get this into Canva? Well, you just come up here, File, Export as an MP3. Call it whatever you want, put it wherever you want. Click Save. I've done this before. You're going to get a little pop-up where you can put in the artist's name, the title track. It's called metadata. You don't have to do it. And boom, it's exported. So then we'll just go ahead and jump into Canva. We'll create a new educational video. I'll go to Uploads, Upload My Media, which is in my Documents folder. There it is right there, about 92 kilobytes. And once it's done downloading, I'll just go ahead and drag and drop it into my project. I'll lengthen this, and you can see where it starts and ends. So that's it. If you have any other questions, uh, you know how to find me and hopefully this helps.